Chris Marek warns Amy Roloff about the engagement ring. Matt Roloff bought Karen Chandler. Hello, dear lovely viewers. Welcome to Blast Gossip with Jesse. I hope your day is so well. Little people, big world star Chris Marek worried how his wife, Amy Roloff, would react to the engagement ring her ex-husband, Matt Roloff, bought for Karen Chandler. After Matt, 62, and Karen, 56, discussed the proposal during the March 12 episode, Chris, 61, warned Amy, 61, that Karen's diamond ring was bigger than hers in a teaser clip for the Tuesday, March 19, episode shared by Parade. I'm not sure why Chris really wanted to prepare me that the ring that I will see on Karen's finger, you know? Oh, the diamond's going to be bigger, Amy said in a confessional. I'm like, okay, how much bigger? She noted that her husband made it sound like the diamond covers her whole hand or something, adding that she personally doesn't get into all that stuff. The clip also caught up with Matt and Karen as they made their way to Amy and Chris home for a meal. I think it's going to be fine, he told producers about seeing Amy who was married to from 1987 until 2016 for the first time since his engagement. She sounded great on the phone when I talked and we texted and stuff, but you know, they actually, you know, see her. He continued, I don't know if she's if she's going to make things awkward or she's okay with it, but we're going to find out here in a few minutes. Once the newly engaged couple arrived at the house, Amy quickly brought up the topic by asking Karen to see her ring. Oh, oh boy, Matt said at the end of the clip, which concluded before Amy could share her reaction. Matt and Karen announced their engagement in April 2023. After six wonderful years together, I asked Karen to marry me and she said yes, Matt told people at the time. Our plan is to enjoy our engagement and we are looking forward to a simple but elegant wedding in 2024. They continued to gush about the special proposal during the March 12 episode of the TLC show. I asked Karen to marry me and she said yes, Matt explained in a confessional, while Karen added, you said to me, I've thought about this a lot for a long time and I want to grow old with you. That's what he said and then I started to cry. Karen said she had no idea that Matt was planning to propose, while she was also surprised that her parents and close friends were in on the surprise. Matt added that he told a tight circle about the proposal, noting that the closest people in Karen's life managed not to drop any hints about his plans. We're in our backyard in Arizona, like our favorite spot, Karen recalled while sharing more specific details about when Matt popped the question. The sun had set so the ambience was just really cozy vibes and nice. Karen explained she was so shocked when Matt asked for her hand in marriage. And then we took a minute. We just sat for a few minutes and just chatted and I was very excited and I cried. And he's like, don't you want to go in the light and look at it? And I'm like, no, I just want to sit here for a minute and absorb this moment because it just felt right. It felt natural. The reality star continued. It felt like it was always meant to be. We know him best as a star of TLC's Little People, Big World, but Matt Roloff has worn a lot of hats over the years. And with his many jobs, he has also racked up a sizable nest egg. Scroll down to learn more about his net worth and how he makes his money. According to Celebrity Net Worth, the reality TV star is worth a cool $6 million. Not too shabby how'd he get that rich. His career started in the 1980s when he worked as a computer programmer in Silicon Valley. He also had a brief acting career during that decade, appearing in the film Under the Rainbow and the Star Wars TV movie Ewoks, The Battle for Endor. After a friend convinced Matt to take a job with a computer company in Oregon, he and then-wife Amy Roloff bought a 34-acre farm in the community of Helvetia, just outside of Portland meanwhile. A sizable sum may have come from the family show. Stars on a series like the TLC, one can earn about $1,500 to $3,000 an episode, according to Business Insider. Early years of the show starting at about 20 episodes per season and two seasons per year, that could easily translate to Matt earning $60,000 to $120,000 from the show for each of those years. Meanwhile, a sizable sum may have come from the family show. Stars on a series like the TLC one can earn about $1,500 to $3,000 an episode, according to Business Insider. With early years of the show starting at about 20 episodes per season and two seasons per year, that could easily translate to Matt earning $60,000 to $120,000 from the show for each of those years. Matt has transformed the family farm into an amusement park filled with rides and attractions as we've seen on the TLC reality show. 
Every year, he and his family welcome about 30,000 visitors to the property. In addition to the farm and the reality show, Matt previously toured the country as a motivational speaker. Matt has also capitalized on his fame by writing three books, Against Tall Odds, Being a David in a Goliath World in 1999, Little Family, Big Values, Lessons in Love, Respect and Understanding for Families of Any Size in 2007 and the children's book Little Lucy, Big Race in 2018 Matt is also the sole owner of Rolla Farms. After his divorce from ex-wife Amy in 2016, Matt, who has since moved on with Fian K. Karen Chandler, bought the majority of her stake in Roloff Farms in 2019. He later purchased the remaining acres from his ex in 2020 for $975,000, the Sun reported at the time. However, there is no bad blood between Matt and Amy. In fact, Amy and her husband, Chris Marek, got married at Roloff Farms and celebrated their big day on August 28, 2021, in a barn that Matt built just for the occasion. After fully acquiring the entirety of Roloff Farms, Matt made the decision to put 16 out of the 109 acres of Roloff Farms up for sale in May 2022. He announced the listing on May 12, 2022, via Instagram. Well, the cat's out of the bag. I want to make sure you all hear the big news directly from me, he wrote at the time. All of Roloff Farms has brought me and our family great joy for the past 30 plus years. Today, 16 acres of the farm's 109 acres go up for sale, including our original family home and bright red barn. It's a tiny bit scary but mostly exciting. It's time to move toward the next season of life, however. Matt took the property off the market in December 2022 and converted the area into a rental property. Matt had another change of heart in August 2023. He listed the property for sale again and slashed the price from $4 million to $3 million, $395,000, according to an online listing viewed by InTouch at the time. He removed the listing again in December 2023 after failing to sell the farm. He never publicly addressed his second attempt to sell the property. After an Matt and Karen excitedly looked to the future while building their dream home on the farm, but the constant strain on the family makes them wonder what that future will look like. The network's description of season 25 reads, per variety. While Amy continues to enjoy married life with Chris, she remains unsettled by the family strife. To help bring the family together and support a cause near and dear to her, she decides to throw a fundraiser and enlist Chris, Matt, and Karen's help. But it doesn't take long before the stress rises to the surface. LPB News Matt Roloff claps back after fan slams the farm owner for high prices. Very tricky little people. Big world patriarch Matt Roloff is trying to make fans of his family's farm happy after he was slammed for the high price of tickets during their famous pumpkin season. Awkward this year, Matt61 said after one Instagram follower demanded he lower your price. Last year, we bundled everything we could into one entry fee. This year, 2023, we are lowering the adventure area entry fee, and then you can add things that appeal to you and your group. The father of four added that prices for employee costs, fuel, and tractor parts are up this year over last. So it's going to be very tricky to balance the books. But we are going to try, Matt said before joking. I reckon if I inherited $2 million, I would just keep right on doing the pumpkin patch until it was all gone. The reality star's claims come just days after he relisted part of the family's farm, including their former home, after previously turning the 8,938-square-foot house into a vacation rental. The Helvetia, Oregon, abode was originally listed for $4 million in 2022 before Matt took it off the market that October. In Touch confirmed on August 2 that the father of four dropped the list price of the 16-acre property to $3,395,000 while Matt has yet to comment on why he decided to put the home up for sale again. The rental listing does not allow bookings after the last weekend in November 2023. Until then, and throughout the upcoming pumpkin season, guests can book a stay in the six-bedroom, five-and-a-half bath home for up to 16 guests, for a starting rate of $1,280 per night. When I put the small side of the farm up for sale, I knew large deals like that take a much longer time, e six to 12 months to complete with no guarantees, Matt previously announced. What I didn't expect was how many new business partners and networking connections I would make in the process. 
I have decided to pull the small farm off the open market and partner with Eitrifications and open the Roloff Farms to everyone and anyone who wants to spend a few nights in the Roloff family home. Despite preparing to sell a portion of this farm, Matt and son Jacob Roloff have been hard at work preparing the land for its biggest time of year. Setting up pumpkin season for 2023 has quickly become the high priority here at Roloff Farms with Jacob Roloff 45 AZ Roloff Karen Chandler 1. Matt captioned a series of photos in July. So many new things being planned and built for your enjoyment of October. Key decisions made today lower entry freeze and make more fun. Making his own way. Find out little people, big world star Zaf Roloff's growing net worth little people. Big world star Zaf Roloff may be on the longest running TLC show, but that's not the only way the Washington resident's net worth has grown. While Zach may not be in line to inherit his family's infamous property, Roloff Farms, he's established his own life in Battleground, Washington, with his wife, Tori Roloff, and their three kids. Fans are curious how the TLC personality makes money apart from his on-screen appearance. The former soccer player rose to fame in his youth on his family's show, Little People, Big World, which premiered on TLC in 2006. The series followed his parents, now divorced, little people couple Matt Roloff and Amy Roloff, and their life on their Oregon farm with their four kids. Zach seemingly makes the bulk of his wealth from his appearances and reportedly makes around $7,000 per episode of Matt has diastrophic dysplasia, which is a hereditary genetic disorder affecting cartilage, according to John Hopkins Medicine. Meanwhile, Zach and his mother both have achondroplasia a genetic condition affecting a protein in the body called the fibroblast growth factor receptor, which in turn causes the slowing down the growth of bone in the cartilage of the growth plate. The rest of Zach's siblings, Molly Roloff, Jacob Roloff, and Zach's fraternal twin, Jeremy Roloff, are of average height. After more than 15 years on screen, Zach is the only one of his siblings who still regularly appears on the TLC series. Zach also formerly made money as one of the tour guides on Roloff Farm, which cost customers a hefty $350 per ticket. However, Zach stepped down from his role after his rift with his father over buying Roloff Farms in season 22. His wife contributes to their income as a photographer, star on LPB Guy, and social media influencer. The couple also launched a podcast called Raising Heights in February 2024. After the exits of his three siblings, Fans began to wonder when Zach would follow in their footsteps and announce his departure from LPB Govay. Zach and Tori have been open with viewers on their discussions surrounding leaving the show. The photographer admitted in an Instagram Q&A in December 2022 that her on-camera time will likely end sooner than later. I think our time is definitely coming to a close, but we're trying to enjoy it while it's here. Tori who shares kids Jackson, Lilla and Joja with her husband said at the time he could pair officially confirmed their plans to leave the show after season 25 during a February 2024 episode of their podcast. Let's just talk about the elephant in the room. Are we coming back to little people, big world? Tori began while Zach replied, we are not. We made that pretty clear the last cycle. But I don't think it's been officially announced to people like we are not coming back to little people, big world. We are done. That part in our lives, that chapter has closed, she added. Zach then shared that he and Tori have not been formally asked to return for season 26 yet. I think the chapter has closed regardless of us being asked back or not, he continued. We made it pretty clear we're done with that chapter for multiple reasons. Own property, Zach and Tori purchased a 3,300-square-foot home, which sits on two acres of land in Battleground, Washington, for $944,000, according to a listing viewed by InTouch. Guess what? Dead E-E-M-O-V-E-D. The mom of three shared via Instagram in October 2021. We've been quite busy the last 30 days and I'm beyond exhausted. I hope we never move again. Ha! We said goodbye to our sweet, cozy, unique, and very green house in Portland yesterday. We will miss Portland but we're so excited for our new adventure in the USA and GTON. Subscribe Blast Gossip YouTube channel for more videos. Don't miss any update. Thanks for watching.